Hi Capricorn, this is your November 20th through November 26th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread, we'll be looking at new love coming towards you. In the second spread, we'll check in with those of you who are already married or in a relationship. Then I'll do the love from the past. Spread after that, we'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances. And then we'll wrap things up with what you're not expecting to happen this week's spread. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week, but uh, for some of you Capricorn, it's not really new. So we have uh, Temperance, clarified by the Emperor. Uh, we have the Knight of Cups, clarified by the Hierophant. We have the Ace of Swords. In the potential outcome, we have the Lovers with the World and uh, the Empress. And we have the Magician on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with so many different zodiac signs, right? We got... Um, We've got Sagittarius, Aries, Taurus, Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have uh, Gemini, uh, Libra, Virgo. <laughs> yeah, I, I think this is um, the new love spread out of all new love spreads for this week, where we have so many major arcana cards. I count seven, right? Out of nine cards on the table, seven are major arcana cards. And most importantly, we have the Emperor and the Empress in the same spread. Okay, the Emperor is all the way to your left, clarifying Temperance, and we got the Empress right next to the deck. The Emperor and the Empress are husband and wife. The Emperor and the Empress are divine counterpartners. Alright, that's what it is. <laughs> and it's, uh, in the beginning I said for some of you it's not really new love, it could be somebody whom you're talking to, whom you're just seeing, whom you're being casual with. And this week they will propose to you, or they will offer to make it formal and official. Right? That's what's happening here. If this is a brand new person coming into your life this week, their intention is to marry you. And they will make it crystal clear to you on the second date. On the third date, the latest. That's their intention. Right? They will tell you. They will tell you. They will tell you either way. Right? So, yeah. Let's talk about this real quick. Uh, we do have... Um, Temperance, uh, clarified by the Emperor, all the way to your left. Temperance could be a Sagittarius, the Emperor could be an Aries. But Temperance is a card of patience. All right. Could, it could also be a card of healing, by the way. Per perhaps for some of you, uh, you're still kind of trying to finish the recovery process after you broke up or after you got a divorce at some point in the past. And this person coming into your life, this will uh, symbolize a successful completion of your healing process. All right, uh, but most likely temperance is a card of patience. It's also a card of when uh, energies of two people mix together. Because you see, uh, there is an angel or a deity in the temperance card, and uh, they're pouring uh, liquid from one cup to another, back and forth, back and forth. And uh, this is like symbolically you and this person <laughs> mixing together. Your energies are mixing together. So it's going to be hard uh, to tell the two of you apart. Um, right, but that was just a side note. Temperance is patience, right? And the Emperor clarifying it is the person coming into your life. Could be an Aries, but again, together with the Empress, it could be any zodiac sign. The Emperor, like I said, is a future husband or future spouse, future significant other figure. The Emperor is large and in charge. The Emperor could be somebody who is very well established. They could be older than you. Right, for, that's for some of you. But yeah, the Emperor definitely knows what he or she wants, most definitely. Right? And they want you, and they want to get serious with you, Capricorn. Because here comes the Knight of Cups, clarified by the Hierophant, and we also have the Ace of Swords. Uh, the Knight of Cups could be a water sign against the Scorpio or Pisces, but this is the most romantic knight out of all for knights. The most loving knight out of all for knights, right? It's clarified by the Hierophant, could be a Taurus, a young, but the Hierophant is a card of something traditional like a committed relationship or marriage. So together with the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Swords following him, yep, they're going to tell you, let's get married, let's move in together, let's take it to the next level. All right, it could be shocking for some of you, for others of you, it may not. <laughs> Especially if you feel this way about this person yourself, right? Uh, the Ace of Swords, yeah, this is them being very straightforward, very direct with you. Uh, they will express their feelings for you. They will tell you exactly what they want. What they want is those two cards prior to that, the Knight of Cups with the Hierophant, love and commitment, right? And uh, with the Ace of Swords, nobody is fooling or playing around. No, you'll, you'll know exactly what this person wants with you because again they will tell you 
in the potential outcome we have uh, <clears throat> the lovers with the uh, the world and the, the empress the lovers could be a Gemini or Gemini, but the lovers is a card of the love of your life in my opinion it's the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people and that makes total sense because of the emperor and the empress here is being here as well it's a soulmate card it's a card of unconditional love it's a card of a twin flame connection right and uh, as I already mentioned it could be the love of your life it's also a card of a choice so yes, the, you'll still have a choice to make as to what you want to do about this. Right, then we have the world. I always interpret the world as a happy end card. This is when one chapter of your life comes to an end and a new, happy, happier, much better chapter of your life is about to begin. The Empress, yeah, this is a, a wife figure, a spouse figure, a significant other figure, a mother figure. We also have the Magician on the bottom of the deck. Um, it could be a Gemini or Virgo, you know, but the Magician is a card of manifestation and most importantly it's a card of taking action. So definitely some action is going to be taken towards you this week and by some action I mean a confession of love and an offer of commitment. Alright, Capricorn, this is an amazing reading, an amazing, really happy for you, congratulations. If you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, Capricorn, uh, this spread is for you. We have the Devil, the King of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Well, <laughs> the Devil, the first card that came out, that's you, Capricorn. That's your major arcana card. And we have the King of Cups. All right, so this King of Cups has something to do <laughs> with your family uh, or your commitment. So it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or somebody with a lot of water in their chart. If they're not a water sign, it's just somebody who is very loving this week. Alright, perhaps your person, if they're not a water sign, they will just be more loving than usual. <laughs> right, then speaking of loving, the Two of Cups right next to the deck, yeah, it is a soulmate card. It's a card of when two people are on the same page, two people feel the same way towards one another or about something that's going on. Right, uh, the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is a card of collaboration, cooperation, so it could be you and this King of Cups doing something together, or the whole family is getting together and doing something together. Perhaps you will have that Thanksgiving dinner, uh, if uh, you're in the United States, right, um, or um, other people may come over, or you could go uh, and, and uh, spend some time with other people, right, and uh, yeah. Um, I see a lot of similar spreads for this week, for, especially for couples spreads. A lot of couple spreads have uh, family spending time together, some other uh, couple spreads have travel, right? We also have uh, people coming back from the past, so perhaps all of this is also applicable to you, but in this, uh, in your particular case, yeah, we have you, the devil, right? So that's always a good sign <laughs> to have your major arcana card in your own reading. It's the only major arcana card on the table. We have the King of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Three of Pentacles. So yeah, you got all the ingredients for a really nice uh, week. <laughs> all right, cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for your Capricorn this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent next. We have uh, the King of Swords, clarified by Judgment. We have the Nine of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This looks good. <laughs> Capricorn, you got this King of Swords coming back to you. It could be an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or somebody with a lot of air in their chart. They're clarified by Judgment. Judgment is a card of somebody coming back from the past. We have the Nine of Cups right next to it. It's a card of a wish come true. Right? It's a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. It's also a card of a, some kind of a party or celebration. Uh, you may run into this person at some kind of an event, um, or um, you know they may invite you to some kind of an event. Um, the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck uh, is love, genuine, authentic love. And the thing about the Ace of Cups, it's, it will feel fresh to you. Perhaps it's been a while since the two of you saw each other, and it's like it will feel fresh, <laughs> for the lack of a better word. Right? The Wheel of Fortune right next to the deck is the restart of a cycle between you two. So yeah, it looks promising. Yeah, I don't see anybody hesitating, I don't see anybody rejecting anybody, alright, cool. Let's talk about your work, your business and your finances, uh, Capricorn, this week. We have the Ace of Swords, uh, the Six of Wands, the Fool and uh, the Two of Wands on the bottom of the deck. I love this, Capricorn. You know, a lot of people have calm weeks, easy weeks, 
this week because of the uh, Thanksgiving uh, holiday here in the United States. Unless you're working in uh, retail or food industry or an entertainment industry. You are definitely having a, one of the best weeks ever <laughs> when it comes to work, business and finances. Right? Um, this week is all about execution or giving somebody an answer. All right, and uh, when you do give somebody an answer, it's in a way is execution. We have uh, the two of ones on the bottom of the deck. This is uh, you either at the beginning of the week or prior to this week trying to make a decision. You could be choosing between two jobs to uh, whatever, right? You're definitely looking at options or you're thinking, what's next for me? Perhaps you just recently accomplished something and now you're trying to set a new goal for yourself. Perhaps you are starting, you were thinking about starting a new business and you were just trying to formulate it inside your head and all that good stuff. So here comes the execution. The Ace of Swords is a card of a brand spanking new beginning. It's a card of clarity. So whereas with the two of ones you could be still not sure, with the Ace of Swords you're definitely 100% sure. The Ace of Swords is the word yes. All right, the six of wands, the next card over is a card of victory, success. It's a card of recognition, being awarded, rewarded, being welcomed. All right, then the, the fool right next to the deck is a card of a brand spanking new beginning. All right, the, the fool, this is you uh, beginning something new this week. And for some of you, it could be something so new that you haven't even tried it before. Perhaps you are starting a job, but a lot of uh, tasks in this new job are going to be brand new to you. Something you haven't done in the past. Or perhaps you're switching industries. So now you're still going to be using your skill set, but the industry is different. All right, yeah. And uh, this is, a, overall, this is a great spread. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Capricorn. We have the Page of Cups, we have the Queen of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and uh, the Page of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Yeah, so what you're not expecting is this Queen of Swords, um, I guess, either reach out to you or approach you or invite you. Right uh, to join some kind of a group. <laughs> the Three of Pentacles right next to the deck is a card of collaboration, cooperation, so that usually translates into a group of people doing something together. And they could be absolutely anything. Right, uh, The Queen of Swords is the person you'll be hearing from, so it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And we got a couple of pages here, right? The page of both of them could be invitations, right? The page of cups is an invitation, or they're approaching you. Uh, the page of ones could be messages, come, going back and forth. For some of you, <clears throat> it could be somehow associated with children. If you are a parent, they could be a parent. So perhaps uh, they're inviting uh, you and your child to join some kind of a children's <laughs> group or something along those lines. Um, it could be about love as well. Right, even though it doesn't look like it, but it could be. Uh, perhaps this Queen of Swords is going gonna, is gonna to reach out to you, and uh, something may happen after that. Um, all right, so yeah, that's what I have for you, Capricorn, for this reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Capricorn, have an amazing week.